I'm CC and welcome to another episode of a 1.18 SMP and a lot's happened between episodes uh, mainly just been doing some terraforming some building and also dying uh, so I fought a wither well I originally I was just gonna kill a wither in a wither chamber get an easy get an easy never star get a beacon but it didn't go well uh, it escaped and I died. I didn't lose anything. The way I lost my armor was well, actually, my chest plate broke while fighting it, and then my uh, I lost my boots while enchanting, which is a new way of losing uh, items. And they were like perfect boots. They were everything. Fair falling, mending, deb strider. Ugh, so annoying. But yeah, I I lost them in there. I was emptying my inventory of all the armor that like. Uh, like zombies drop, and I must have accidentally thrown my boots out without realizing, and I lost them. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's how that went. Uh, not great, but I got a beacon, and it's over at the mesa, so I can get uh, terracotta a lot easier. And aside from that, I've been doing some terraforming. So over here, got myself a cliff here which I intend to use as a waterfall. I'm gonna probably add a second cliff on top of this cliff and then have water come out of there, go down here and hit this rock which will then split the water, some of it going this way, some of it going this way. Just so I can have two rivers and like have them going flowing different ways I guess. Uh, it doesn't actually matter that much so you can still go along a river either way but just aesthetically I think it'd be interesting. And then over here, we've got my barn area, which is what I'm going to be working on just now. I've also added a cliff here as well, just to give a bit more of a wall. So I'm going to add a cobblestone wall around here and have this as cows. And I might split it into two sections, have sheep and cow. I don't know. I don't know how big I want this. I don't think I want it to be too big since it's... Mainly going to be aesthetic. I I don't actually intend to have it automatic cow farms. I don't like automatic cow farms. They make me sad. Just putting cows in a chamber and killing them. I'd rather just uh, let them be free range. Uh, oh, I need to get chickens as well. Oh, I didn't think about that. I'll do. I'll think about that in the future. <laughs> Maybe have chickens up there. That'd be interesting. But I think I want to do before I start doing the aesthetics of the outside. I want to bring some cows over. And luckily, I've got a cow supply over back at. Uh, my camp. It's been a while since I've been back this way actually. I haven't taken this path in ages and uh, it is far from complete. <laughs> Just got some floating uh, landscape. I need to actually <laughs> do some terraforming over here. It feels like all my life is terraforming. It's all I do. Hello. <laughs> uh, hello. Uh, what's your deal? How are you standing? I yeah, I have some pets I left over at my camp, and somehow this guy is standing. I I do not know how. I know that Kieran came over here a little while ago to do some uh, wool collecting because I'm the only person on the server who actually has sheep, I think. Uh, and so <laughs> so apparently, one of I had some cats over here. Uh, there was one that was yeah, I got this one here, a jelly here, and I also had another jelly over here. And apparently a sheep escaped from the pen and then came over here and pushed my cat into the cactus and killed it. 
And apparently he left the sheep somewhere <laughs> for what so-called interrogation. Uh, I don't know where you put it, but let's. Uh, I'm gonna grab some sheep while I'm here too. I may as well. There we go. Perfect. Two sheep, and I could get some cows. There's a lot of cows in here, and they're tightly packed. They're all trying to get at the same spot. I think I'll just leave it. I don't want to. I don't trust it. Uh, you three are now. Uh, gonna follow me over to Stockholm. Okay, let's head over. Oh, oh, here he is. This is the one that killed my uh cat. I'll be back for you. Now for the fun bit. <laughs> so far to go. Oops, turn night. Oh god! Oh god! No, <laughs> I'm being smothered. And here we are. Okay, I uh, will put the sheep end up here. That's a dog. Yeah, how am I, how am I gonna split? How am I gonna sort these? Uh, might be best if I just take off the wheat and just try. And... I, I I guess that's one way of doing it. <laughs> Both of them just choose to. No, they can go on the side. No. Oh, I need to. I need to get. A, I'm gonna go get a fence. <laughs> Okay, all of them are in there except from one. Uh, let's get the sheep out of there. No, 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 no. Okay, there you go. And then uh, just go into. That's not how fences work. Oh god, it's the villagers all over again. Okay, get in there. And then. Okay, I just need you to get in there now. Come on. Look at my wheat. Look at my wheat. Look at my wheat. Yes, okay. Both of you get into here. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, you guys can stay there for now while I make somewhere a bit more uh, open, I guess. <laughs> and you can be the farm dog. I've just got a group of pillagers who are just staring down into my farm. Oh, they've killed my beetroot farmer. Oop, I've got an arrow in my neck. Oop, and it's gone. <laughs> I just can't seem to pick a project today, because I've been working on this barn and I absolutely love it. I had to remove the the the, the bits here that like, connect it to the ground, because the sheep just kept climbing it and just chilling on the roof and then jumping from the roof onto that top cliff. Uh so yeah, I had to I had to st All right. Uh so yeah, I had to remove them. And then I just kind of been pottering around a bunch. I worked some more on the cliff, I've worked some more on the wall, I've worked some on the ground, and I really like the grass patches. Cuz originally I was going to have the cows only roaming, but I quite like the sheep roaming as well. Uh, and I dyed them brown just so I could get some Brown wool, but I'll probably brand dye them back to white or orange uh, in a sec. But I added some grass so they can regrow their their wool. I should need to let the cows out, so I might just open the gate for a bit. But aside from that, I have just been kind of working on this bit of the cliff here. I've been trying to make this river make sense because it didn't really make sense before. It was very, uh, very messy. I've been adding like a little cliff here and a cliff here that adds the channel down here. And it's, I just, it's not super interesting to record. So I've been doing a bit of it off screen and I'm, I'm really liking it, but I need to do something more substantial, I think. And I kind of want to work on bees. I really need honey. I have zero honey supply. And I want to use candles around the base. Like, I've been planning on having candles as part of the block palette since the get-go. And I'm still yet to actually have any honey. Or honeycomb, at least. But, uh, yeah, I need to figure out where I want to put that. I was thinking of putting it on that hill there, but I think it's too small. So I might either expand the cliff or just do it over here. Or over here, actually. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. But... One thing I did do between episodes, well not between episodes, between clips, 
uh, is I added a mod called Effective, done by uh, oh, I can't remember his name. I'll I'll put uh, like a link in description to the guy. But look, I missed. Ugh. Look at that! <laughs> it's got like a you get like water droplets and stuff when uh, you drop items into into the water, and I don't know why, but I find it the coolest thing ever. I I love it. That's... Uh, with this clip, this clip might be better. I go from top of these, uh, these here. Look at that! Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, that's amazing. I don't know why I find this so fun. It's so satisfying. It's a shame that these don't exist. It it only works like if you throw the item from like a high enough distance. It also uh, works if you jump into the water yourself. Look at that! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. Some something using that. I just love it. Okay. Uh, anyway, I'm getting distracted. Uh, yeah. So this side of the thing is pretty nice here, but on that side, kind of gross. So I need to bring like I don't know if I want to bring the cliff around or just have it as like a. I think I'm going to have the cliff come around, but not as high. And I'm going to have a bridge going over here. And then I'll set up a honeycomb farm somewhere over this way. I've already got design for the honeycomb farm. I just need to find somewhere to put it. And uh, I kind of want it to be higher up. It'll probably be a lot more work, but I think I want to add a cliff here. I built the cliff. And for some reason, this one took so much more R&D than the other cliffs. I, I don't know why. It took me like two days to build this. Obviously, not, not as much, uh, not as long sessions, but still took me ages to build. Um, but it is, well, it's, it's, it's functional now. So I'm going to put a, a B, like apiary on top here. I might have to cut back this hill just a bit to give me some more space to work with. But I'll do some measurements to see how that goes. But yeah, got myself a platform to build on. And for some reason, the cows and sheep just like to congregate back here. So either this is some fight club or they are seeing some way of escaping. So I'm going to have to see if I can figure out a way for them to stop doing that. I really don't know why they're over here. But, yep, time to start building the B AP high. What would you call it? B AP? I, I guess that's, that's what I'm going to call it. Time lapse time. There's a little uh, little fox sleeping on that uh, mountain over there. That's that's cute. But uh, anyway, I've finished up the APA and I really like this build. Uh, it's a bit different than the rest of the builds. So I've added a curve, which none of the other builds have, but I think it works well because I wanted to have this be sort of like a greenhouse apiary where you could see inside it, but I didn't think glass made too much sense for a viking area, so I made it into fences. But I still added glass onto the roof, but orange, so it blends in a bit more. Uh, just to have a skylight when you're in, when you're looking on the inside. Uh, yeah, it looks nice in here. I need to <laughs> do some turfing back there. But the next step of this build is to do the interior and uh, to do the functionality of it. And what I'm going to do is have beehives lining this back wall, which all automatically shear the hives when they fill up. But before I start doing, actually, what I'll do, no, I'll put them back in. Boop, 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 boop. And then I will put some hoppers in down here. That one facing down. Great. And then I need to have dispensers facing down. And go around the back. Doing, I don't, I'm, I'm hoping this works with them facing or being directly next to each other. I don't think it should matter. But if it does, uh, uh oh, because I have to just take away a few of them. But that should be now done functionally. I just need to put some uh, shears into here. 
and I'm going to put some trapdoors covering up them. But before I start to actually fill up the hives, I kind of want to just release some bees here. And pick them... oh Jesus. Pick them back up and just breed them up until I get 21 bees. But before I can do that, I need to go get some flowers, which I completely forgot about. Luckily, I've got a flower field over there. Okay, there should be enough bees here now. I think I count more than 21. So all I need to do now is just place down the hives. And... Uh... They should just start going inside the hives. Okay, so you three are extra, so I'm going to take you and put you outside. Actually, put you into here. And there we go. So that should be that done now, I think. So I can just start to actually do the interior and also the exterior. I might make an airlock just so like the bees can't escape too easily, but I don't know, I need to get some dark oak plank, dark oak trapdoors, cover this up, and then I also need somewhere to put the honeycomb, I didn't really think that far ahead, so I might just make an extra building out here that's like the storage area. Luckily I don't need to sort the items, since uh, the items are all just the same, because <laughs> this, this won't get me any honey, but I also don't really need honey, and are you okay up there? Uh, put some flowers down, just let them pollinate, and yeah. So that's the main bulk of this project done. Now it's just doing the extra details and such. Oop. Why... Oh, they're not full actually, sorry, I forgot. Yeah, I've got a uh, vanilla tweaks pack on, which shows honey level. So once that gets fully orange, or yellow I guess, fully yellow, uh, that will, that should shear it. Yeah, I've made myself a bunch of shears. Hopefully this should be enough for now. I don't really know how many I, I should. Uh, uh, now I just need to do some decorations and also bring over a new building. But I have to do some designing for that because I have no idea how I want it to be. Okay, I've done some work around the area and I've changed my mind on uh, having a building here. I didn't like the designs I came up with and the area is a bit small so instead I've just got this pile of barrels and uh, it looks unorganized but it actually is fully automated. Uh, all my honeycomb is going into this barrel and then it'll move over the pile. Uh, if I go through here you can kind of see what I was doing. Uh, basic, it's a bit of a mess of hoppers but it is, it's a lot of hoppers. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah. But it works, and it is slowly collecting up on my honeycomb, and it should last quite a while storage-wise. If it does fill up, I will, uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll figure something out. But I think that's what I'm going to call this episode today. I have more things I wanted to do, but I'll do some small detailing stuff off-screen. I spent way too long on this video as is, and I kind of just wanted to get it out there. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm probably going to do a project away from this place next episode, just I spent a lot of time over here in Stockholm, and I need to kind of get myself away. I might work on a shop, maybe, I don't know. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Bye.